This is Wheaton McLanathan with Kilt Rental USA. In this video, we are going to teach you how to measure yourself for a kilt. In fact, the whole kilt outfit, head to toe. So the first portion of the video is going to cover the adult formal rental, because most of you watching the video, that's what you're, um, that's what you're aiming to do. Um, and then we'll do adult casual rentals. And then finally, we'll end off with a custom kilt, like a, a, a purchase kilt. Um, so if you're watching the video just for the adult formal rental, just feel free to watch that portion and then just shut it off, start measuring. Uh, if you're watching this video for the custom uh, portion of it, just you'll have to either fast forward or just hold on till the end. So um, the first thing I want to mention is the tape measure. A lot of guys think that you actually have to have one of these kind of, uh, you know, like a tailor's tape measure. These are good. These, these are ideal. These are best. It's not 100% required though. You can definitely do the measuring with a standard tape measure like the, the kind that you'll find in your garage. So if you have one of these, great. If you want one, you can get one for a couple bucks pretty much anywhere. Um, but again, most guys will have one of these. If you have a smaller one that actually wraps around a little better, that might actually be a good idea. This really thick one here, this if it's this thick and like a 35 footer, it doesn't work real good for the neck just because of how, how skinny the neck is. Um, so one of these is, is actually a lot better for the neck. So I don't recommend using this real heavy one for the neck, but for the rest of the measurements, this, this kind will be just fine. So, uh, so we'll get started. So the first measurement is the neck measurement. And as I mentioned, you don't really want to use that real thick, heavy 35 footer. So for the neck, I'm actually going to use this, uh, just a, a Taylor's tape measure. For the neck, um, you just go around, you want to go around kind of low on the neck. If you go up real high, you're going to get an inaccurate measurement. So kind of low on the neck. Uh, and then um, just, if I was looking in a mirror, I would just, you know, look and see what, what measurement that says. So just kind of low on the neck, right where the collar, uh, right where the collar would be. Alternatively, if you have a, a a dress shirt that you know fits you well you can just look at the tag this is one of my personal shirts here it says m which means medium 15 and a half 34 35 that's what it says on the tag if you got one that fits you good just just put that on your form m 15 and a half 34 35 um, for a, a casual shirt like the one i'm wearing here the casual shirt these kind they just run small medium large extra large so that's not a really good example. It's gotta be a dress shirt that's that's meant to be worn with a tie. That'll have the measurements inside the tag. You also wanna make sure it fits you well. You know, if it sat in the closet for a couple of years, um, you might wanna try it on, make sure before you give us the numbers off the tag. For the sleeve measurement, there's two different ways to measure for a sleeve. There's from the back, really the spine, to the cuff. And then there's also kind of this, this point on the shoulder here where they meet from the point to the cuff. There's two different ways to do it. So um, we'll do them both. So to do the, the full measurement, you just take the tape measure to the back to where the spine is, come around the shoulder here, down to the cuff. And I'm getting about a 37 on there. You want the, you want the, the measurement to come just above the thumb here. You don't want to measure to the wrist because that would look a little bit short when it when you know when you're wearing the jacket it'll look a little short you want it to come past the wrist on that measurement so when you do the straight arm measurement you just go from the seam down to where you where, where you want the cuff to be and on this measurement i'm getting 25 so there's kind of a big difference between the numbers um, if you have a well-fitting suit jacket you can just measure from that seam to the cuff pretty easy if you don't have a well-fitting suit jacket, you can just measure just from this, just kind of from this corner to the bottom of the cuff. So that's how you do an accurate sleeve measurement. Now we're gonna do the chest measurement. The, with the chest measurement, it's ideal to have somebody else do the measurement for you while you're just standing there like that. But you can do it yourself with a mirror, obviously. So um, I'm just gonna do it myself just to make the video easier. Um, just take it under your arms at the biggest part of your chest and then just take a, take a look down, see where you're at. I'm about 37 and a half, 38, and I actually wear a size 40 jacket. 
So most guys, you're going to have that two inch, three inch, maybe even four inch difference between your actual measurement and then the size jacket you wear. Also, if you have a suit jacket that you know for sure that this jacket fits you really well, feel free to give us the, the size off of that label. Now we're going to do the waist measurement. The waist measurement is quite possibly the most important part and it can be a little tricky because of how a kilt fits. It's much different than jeans uh, or even dress slacks for that matter. Um, a lot of guys try and do the guessing method. Please do not do the guessing method. Do not guess. Uh, don't estimate. Don't take a pair of your dress slacks, look at the tag and say, oh, these are 34. Please do your waist measurement. It's really important. Um, so different different body shapes are going to be a, you know, just a slightly different measuring technique, and I'm going to show that to you. Um, once again, we're going to use the manly uh, uh, tape measure here. So for guys that are thin, like you know, 30, 32, 34, whatever, um, you 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 got to you know you've got some hip bones here. If if you press like this, you'll feel the hip bones, and then if you keep going up, you'll feel it. It'll sink in right there. You don't want to measure on that on that really sunken in part. You want to do it um, on kind of on the bone, right at the navel, right on the bone, right there for for thinner guys. So just take the tape measure around around kind of around that that bone, right at the navel, right here, and then just give it just a little bit of a tug, just a little tug, because that kilt needs to grab onto your body. If it doesn't. It's going to be too loose. It's going to slide down. You may not notice it at first, but as you walk around, you'll feel it sliding down. So just take it around the waist, give it a little a little pull. Now my my jeans are actually down here, so it's actually above your jeans altogether. The other thing is that um, the Prince Charlie jacket, it has a high waist. So again, here my my belt is here. You got to measure right here. You, you, the kilt is going to be worn up high, so there's a big difference between where the top of the kilt, where the top of the kilt is going to be, and where my belt is. Big difference there. So you got to measure up high. If you measure down low, it's, it's going to be a different measurement. So the, for the Prince Charlie jacket especially, that kilt needs to be up pretty high, so they can fill in this gap right here. With the Argyle jacket, it's a lot lower in the waist, a, a little more like a modern day suit jacket. So from the side view, you can see that, I mean, this is, you know, side view is a lot different with the, the Argyle jacket. Just wanted to show you those two. So with, uh, with bigger guys, you know, if, if you got um, a, a belly, a lot of guys do, there's nothing wrong with that, just the way we're made, uh, then just wrap this tape measure around and then you got to give a, a, a pretty good pull once again so that tape measure sinks in and you got to do it at that kind of the biggest part the biggest part of the belly is kind of where you want to do it usually right at the navel for the most part that's right where it is so just take that tape measure around at the navel pull it tight so again that kilt can kind of bite into your sides there if you have a um, sort of a V shape like you're really muscular up top six pack you know you're really really muscular you know those sort of things please put that on your form in the other field you could say really muscular or if you're a professional swimmer you can put down a swimmer's build if you're a pear shape put down pear shape and any of these things help us to get you the right jacket and kilt for the shoe size shoe size might seem like something really easy just put down your shoe size but the, the shoe is actually one of the most common things that we get phone calls for. People say, hey, this shoe doesn't fit properly. So I'm going to give you a few tips to, to help you make sure that we get you the right shoe. Um, so I just brought in a couple of my, my personal shoes. This pair of dress shoes that I wear, these are actually inside. It says size 10. All right. This pair of sneakers on the inside, it says 11. And then the pair of kind of casual shoes I have on right now are say 10 and a half on the inside. So, you know, you've got different manufacturers, dress shoes, sneakers, casual, 10, 10 and a half, 11. You might have different shoe sizes like this. Um, so just take a look, find out whatever is the most common shoe size that you have. Most of my shoe sizes say 10 and a half. So I would put down 10 and a half. 
If you have a wide foot, let us know. We have wide shoes as well. Um, our shoe sizes go up, I believe 17 is our biggest shoe size, which is huge. But anyway, um, take a look at your shoe sizes, find out which of the more common size that you're seeing there. And then we normally bump everybody up a half size, simply because the kilt sock, if you've ever worn one, you'll know it's a pretty thick sock. It's, it's easily twice as thick as like a, a normal sock that you'll wear with a pair of sneakers. So if you put down that you wear a size 10 and a half, we're most likely going to give you an 11, and that's probably going to fit pretty good. Your height and weight are going to be the last kind of important bits that we're going to need for the formal rental outfit. Um, please do give us an accurate height and weight. Um, it might seem, you know, you know, like like I mentioned in the shoe portion, it might seem kind of basic height and weight, but we actually uh, that actually really helps us uh, determine the right stuff to give you. So please do give us an accurate height and weight. And that pretty much wraps up the uh, adult formal outfit measurement for the rental. Um, for the kids, the only additional measurement that we do is from the belly button to the center of the kneecap. That gives us the length for the kids because kids can be all different sizes and that really helps us. And then also for the kids, if you can have them stand on a ruler, you know, with the heel at zero inches and then uh, going out and give us a foot measurement uh, for the kids, that would... Um, those are the only two real additional things that we ask you for the kids. For the casual outfits, like the, we call it the Highlander package, um, or with the golf or corporate package, all those measurements are going to kind of be the same. The main thing that we need is, once again, the, the waist measurement, which happens to be the most important measurement of them all around the waist. With the casual, you're, it's okay to go a little lower if you want to. If you want to wear the kilt a little bit lower because it's casual, it doesn't have to be really high like for the Prince Charlie jacket. Okay, so for the casual, you can go a little lower if you want, but um, the, you know, the kilt is meant to be worn up high, but just somewhere above the jeans. Uh, so just take that measurement for the waist. And then if you're getting a shirt, one of those casual kind of Highlander shirts, um, just give us your normal t-shirt size if it's large, extra large. I think they go up to a 4XL, I think, um, and uh, and then I think we need your shoe size to get just to make sure we give you the right sock, and then again your height and weight, please be accurate on that. But the, the casual is a lot easier because you're not wearing a button-up shirt, you're not wearing a tie, you're not wearing a jacket, so a lot easier there. So just just those measurements and we're good. Okay, so this is the last portion, and this is for those of you who are buying a custom kilt. And I'm going to show you how to measure. There's three measurements that we really need. So we'll do a waist measurement, once again around the waist, and then pull it snug so that, you know, so that the kilt bites into your sides there. Um, now, also, if you're going to be wearing a Prince Charlie jacket, then it ne the kilt needs to be worn up pretty high. Uh, if you're going to be wearing the kilt for more casual purposes, you can go lower. So, once again, waist measurement, seat measurement now this is the seat this is the biggest part of the of the the hip so just take this around around the biggest part and then there's your seat measurement just around the biggest part of your hips and then for the length measurement um, the best thing to do is just kneel on the carpet take the tape measure to the floor and then you want to measure you know generally at the navel so it's like like right about here for me um, once again, if you're going to be wearing a Prince Charlie jacket, you, it would be safer to go above it. Um, so with me, you know, I, my personal, I have two kilts. I wear one with a Prince Charlie, which is really high. It's a, it's a quite, quite a long kilt. And then one that I wear more casual that's like a 23 length. So, so on me, a 25 would be just above the navel. And then my casual kilt, which is a 23, is usually like down here. So a good, good two inch difference between those two. So that's the length measurement. Right at the navel. If it's casual below it, if it's a Prince Charlie above it, but you can kind of get in the middle and kind of have a, a, a kilt that it works well for both. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful, and uh, please feel free to go on our website and fill out your measurement form and place your kilt order. Once again, this is Wheaton McLanathan with Kilt Rental USA.